Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron and thanks for swinging by the auto trading channel. Sorry for not posting videos last week. Uh, me and my family came down with the flu and uh, it knocked us out <laughs> for a little while, but uh, we are all better and we're back on track now and I'll be continually uh, posting two videos uh, almost <laughs> every week. So uh, with that being said, today is Thursday and this is Trade Station Thursdays and this is episode four. Our main focus here at Auto Trading is to dive deep into the code of automated trading strategies. Today I'm going to show you what the performance summary is and how to use it. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, we are in TradeStation and we have a chart pulled up. The um, trading view version of this uh, video ended up being 20 minutes long. And so I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit shorter. Um, so to get to where we want to go, you right click on the black area of the screen, you come down to data and then strategy performance report. And this will only show up if you have a strategy on your chart. So it doesn't work just with the indicators or the studies, but you actually have to have a strategy. We click on strategy performance report and here we go. The collapsed view is what I prefer. Um, it easily fits everything um, that I need on the screen. Um, but as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, tabs down here at the bottom and then you'll normally have some options here at the top uh, where you can change the view of things. But on this first uh, performance summary page, the things to note right here, just like in trading view, the long trades are here in the middle column and the short trades are on the right and then your total of both are here on the left. All right, sorry about that. I had to uh, reset my trade station client, had some weird UI things going on. Uh, but moving top to bottom, um, the, the net profit, this will calculate your long trades, your short trades, your profit and your loss and give you your profit factor. So that's just your profit divided by your loss will give you your profit factor. So if you're at a 1.0, that means you broke even. Uh, this also takes into account your um, commissions and slippage. And the way that you get to that, if you have your strategy on the chart where you can see it, you can just double click to pull up the um, studies and strategies. Or you can come here studies and you can either click on edit studies or edit strategies and it'll pull that same window up now you click on properties for all and this is where you can go in and say hey this is my initial capital i want to add this much slippage per trade and my commissions per trade if you have those plugged in uh, this will factor all that for you and also right here this is where you can have it do one contract at a time, 10 contracts at a time or whatever. You can change that right there. All right, moving down, percent profitable, that's great. Um, this kind of even quickly shows that, hey man, our long trades with this strat are awesome. Our short trades, not so much. And so as long as we're making more with our shorts, we can stay in it, but you know, right here, we only have a 0.3 profit factor. And so on this one, I would probably change my short entry just to be my long stop because it works 100% of the time. These three trades over um, almost two years. I would not trade this strategy though. <laughs> not as it is. Uh, let's see. Right here, you have all your averages. Those are great. Um, that will help you kind of refine your, um, you know, if, if your average trades does certain amount and you don't have any great, you know, you don't make a bunch of your money off the big runs, um, then you might want to adjust your strategy just to limit the risk. 
And so if your average winning trade was 131 and your largest trade winning trade was 450, you know, that's three, three times the amount. And so I wouldn't change anything here, but let's say your longest winning trade was only 180, right? But your longest losing trade was 215. Well, it might make sense to come in here and limit your trades to once you have $180 in profit, uh, close a trade. And so that's kind of what I would use this for. Uh, max consecutive winning trades, that's cool. Just to see how many winners you have in a row. Um, you can do <clears throat> strats that um, accumulate shares at different points in time, I believe. And uh, that's where this kind of would get a little more interesting. Return on capital, that's self-explanatory. That's basing it off the 100,000. And so for this strategy, you know, our max drawdown is 460. Um, so we need probably at least 500 minimum, maybe a thousand for the drawdown, just to be on the safe side. Plus this is trading at $900 a share. And so you probably want 2000 in the account. And so instead of a hundred thousand, you could do this at 2000. And if you made 258, well, you're sitting at more like 12% profit instead of 0 0.26, cause that's calculating off of your initial capital right here. Trading period's awesome. And the way that you set this, if you double click on instead of the strategy, but actually the bars, you get this one right here. And this is where you set it. This is kind of your look back period. Also something to note, it says two years, but we only have one year and seven months. And the reason why, come back to property for all, is because we have our maximum number of bars study, we'll reference 100 bars. So we have, can I get both these pulled up? No, I can't. We have two years of chart data, but it weights 100 bars. And that's, you know, about your, about your three months, um, well, closer to four months. Um, and so adjust this based off, um, if you have a moving average that is a 200 bar moving average, then you can set this to 200. Um, if your strategy only looks back 20 days, then set this to 20. Uh, it's, it'll help your computer run it. Our computers are so fast nowadays, we might not need to do that. But if it's acting slow, you can go in there and adjust that and it'll shrink this time period down. But we only traded for that amount of time because it needed the 100 days before it started calculating and then it had to find an entry. Max equity run up. The most um, that we were profitable was a 769. The max drawdown, the most we were negative at any one time was the 460. Trade analysis is, um, I honestly don't really come here very much. I understand deviations like on a bell curve, but I've never needed that for my trading necessarily. But I would think if this mattered to you, now, plus one standard deviation, negative one standard deviation. You could probably Google that, or if you understand how bell curves work, uh, you could probably just logically kind of figure it out and it might help you with your trading. Uh, the trades list, this is cool because it will show you exactly when you got in and when you got out. And if you have more trades on here, then you could see, oh man, you know, in January, I just lose a bunch. So maybe turn it off in January. Or if it's, if you're doing a, you know, 15 minute chart or something, maybe right around lunchtime, you realize you need to turn it off. And so this is really cool because you can go in and see if there's, if your strategy works um, at a specific time um, better than other specific times. <clears throat> Here we go. The periodical returns. This is really cool because here at the top, you can choose how it shows up. You, know, uh, you can see your annual returns, your daily returns each day, uh, monthly returns, and weekly. And let me 
which one has it? We'll do the daily. And so this first one, the market to market period analysis, this is, uh, since it's on daily, this is day to day. And so this day we made that much, this day we lost that much we, on that day. Now if you scroll down to the um, rolling period, um, as you can see the first day we made $26.06 right here, but then this day we almost lost the same amount. It just shows you the rolling. And so after two days we're only profitable 47 cents. After three days, we're then down negative five. After four days of trading, we're at 85, it holds, and so on and so forth. Um, these that show the same day, it's because we're holding over a certain amount of time and we're not actually necessarily trading on those days. But this is really cool. Kind of like I said with the trades list, um, you can see if you're not profitable certain months or days or um, weeks out of the year performance graphs this is a really cool part right here the equity curve this shows every single trade and uh, you can see we started is it only seven trades okay you can see that we started negative and have climbed out just in the last if this is over two years last six months but they have so many cool different visualizations um, of the trading data and so these are really really cool and uh, just helps you get a better feel for when you're making money and when you're not on these curves um, preferably you want kind of your profits to make this line from the bottom left all the way to the top right you want you don't want big ups and big downs you want little up little down little up little down little well but bigger ups little down bigger up little down kind of like that and this is the best equity curve right here just a straight line from the bottom left to the top right at least that's what i remember in uh, the training class um trade graphs <clears throat> you have more visualizations of um, so right here if you click on winning trades uh, you can see where most of the trades are and visually just looking at it you could say okay hey look at that I only have one that made a bunch of money okay so about 130 everything under 130 is a little bit more consistent let me check out my losing trades so and this one was 215 and so if i came in here and put my stop at 130 then this 210 trade wouldn't have happened it would be 130 and um, oh, i'm sorry 130 would be right here so both of these would be 130 and 130 instead of 210 and 180 and you know it might not be worth it since this one was so big uh, but that's a way that you could you could use that just so many cool data sets that you can look through and then settings this will show so this is our stoked d strat that it shows all of our settings so if you have something that you really like you could screenshot this or i guess save it and um then you never have to wonder what you had you know it, it saves it automatically but you'll be in here tinkering and doing all sorts of stuff so if you have one that's really good come over to settings screenshot this save this um, and so you can see here's our MACD um, side of things and then here's our stochastic side of our custom strategy all right so there you have it my fellow automates that is how to get to the performance summary on tradestation and a little overview of it kind of the little nuances of how to change some of the settings that apply to it um, tried to make this one a little bit quicker than previous uh, videos i noticed that most people watch about four minutes of the videos 
And so I'm going to do my best to start shaving these down and keeping them at least under 10 minutes, if not uh, even shorter. And so we'll kind of change things up a little bit, try to give you a little bit quicker snippet of uh, what you need to know and not as lengthy of a video. Uh, but to whomever, whenever, and however this finds you, I hope that it finds you well, and I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks.